a new tool has come out and it replaces Nitro Streamer. And by using this one to connect to MTR, you will have a greatly improved frame rate for some reason. As you can see, I'm never falling below 35. And this is in a big overworld. If I go to smaller areas, it goes above 40. Battles have around 40. If I can get one. This is crazy. This is really close to being a capture card now, while it is completely wireless. As you can see, the top screen is absolutely flawless. There is no lag whatsoever. I'm just standing here with my PlayStation controller and playing. This is insane. For everybody that was complaining that my frame rate in the last video was below 30 sometimes, being 25 to 35, now I won't go below 35, so... You can see, I'm still using the PlayStation controller. Look at that frame rate. That's unbelievable. And for the people saying, yeah, but it's just 240p, um, I have the no outline patch on. So even though it's 240p, I'm standing like three meters away from my television. I can't see that it's unsharp or anything because there's no black line. So everything goes over smooth, even though it's low resolution. You can't see that from here, really. It looks great. And the frame rate is really good now. Of course it could be better, but this is better than playing on my 3DS itself, so. Well, I think that was it. I just wanted to show a quick update on the frame rate. I will probably make an upgraded tutorial on how to use this instead of Nitro Streaming, my tutorial that I have on how to run NTR the proper way. But for now, this is it. This is sick, really. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.